before LSU able to play a couple in the bottom of that inning to win three to one and the guy on the mound today state transfer grad transfer lifts that one into right field Dylan Cruz makes the catch and a souvenir high fastball got him at 93 and that'll do it for the Tigers breaking ball lifted in the air right side Cruz. Well, the story's been Landon Marceau and Dylan Cruz. Defensive. Sharply hit. Past the glove of a diving Tapia. And the first hit of the game for LSU with two outs here in the third. On at second base trying to steal the first time he has been caught stealing and nobody's going to steal this one from him. It bounces off the wall in left center. Malazzo. They're going to wave him around third. Here's the throw. Not in time. And he's in there safely. And the Tigers have a one to nothing lead on the RBI base knock from Dylan Cruz. First pitch breaking ball. This is exactly what it is from the freshman right here. Watch this. Recognize that breaking ball right away. The body goes down to get it. The backside. Watch that back half. The back leg go down to get it. Just drives this one. And that's a top spin liner out to left center. And still one hops the wall in left center field. Malazzo can catch and throw. I'm not sure he's exactly known for the feet, though. But in this one, gets just enough, slides in there head first. Two out single by Malazzo. Got him. That one caught him on the hip. He'll take the free pass. Second hit batter of the game. But two are on. And lifts that one high and deep to left. Not just one RBI, but give him three. While they lead the SEC in home runs, you see him wide right here. Dota gets a 2-0 fastball and leans on this one. No doubter to left center, deep into the Baton Rouge night. And for an inning that started pretty quietly for LSU. In fact, first eight hitters were all retired in order. But two-out single by Malazzo, two-out double by Cruz. Now the three-run home run by Dota. And this game has changed in about... Without a walk all year in 17 innings. And he gets Bailey to strike out. Where Lyle is. Lyle and Kyle just rolling down I-10. Yep. I mean, it's... And he seems to have found a way to be successful as Landon Marceau, KP. It doesn't get much better than what he's doing right now. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. Eight strikeouts for Marceau. Strikes out the side in the fourth. All Tigers. Well, you know, it's always different. Everything's different now. So that one's grounded out to second. Stabbed and... Off the chest, perhaps, of the second baseman, Tapia. Throw down to second, and they got him. First out of the inner inning as Bianco just checked in to pitch run. That chops over the glove of the shortstop, Joshua Lamb. which is the removal of that damaged rib. Doctor wouldn't let him keep the rib. And he said he was really bummed because he wanted it as a souvenir. 12-2 <laughs> in the second game. Shot out to right field. And misplayed out there by Cruz. We'll try to get it in in time, and it is not. So a single and a bobbled ball in right field will allow him. Wait. <laughs> I'm going to use it in everyday life. Good swing there out to right field. Base hit. And runners will be at the corners now. First and third after the Paxton base knock. His second hit of the night these days. Lifted in the air. That will drop in for a base hit. One run will score. As Lamb touches home, and they'll still have runners at the corners and nobody out. And the tying run will stroll the play to the three-hole hitter, Kyle. That's a base hit to the right side. Another run comes across, and it's 4-2. to two.
First one for a strike, second one out of the zone. Now this one, and they had not a shift on, but Zach Arnold, the second baseman, was definitely pinched up the middle. <laughs> if he's And they are loaded. First pitch, back up the middle. One run will come in to score. And do they get the out at third? They do. Anchor who came in to pinch run, got thrown out trying to steal, goes into center field. He hadn't played a lot of outfield. In fact, I don't think I've seen him in the outfield in college. Now Bergeron spun his wheels a little bit there. I, I think he fell on the grass, but that is a coach's kid's play right there. I mean, that's Drew Bianco growing up around the ballpark. That ball to home plate. He sees the base runner right now and then does not stop. Everything goes through that throw to third base. If he double clutches, if he waits a minute, there's no way he gets. And they're loaded again. Hilliard has missed high. Got him. Inning is over. Sir Dashney doesn't believe it. It was, it was a called strike three. So UT San Antonio gets five hits in the inning. Definitely didn't make it look like a strike. The pitch was closer than I thought it was. Pat Hallmark doesn't agree. And I don't blame him. Based on what he saw at the third base coaching box, I'd have been pretty torqued myself. Ground ball to the right side. Scooped up there by Paxton. He will step on the bag. Ground ball to third, and that one is booted. Doty kicks it into left center, and the leadoff runner is on for the Roadrunners. That one is shot back up the middle. That one gets past Bianco. That's going to get the tying run to come in. And we are tied at four as Lamb touches home plate. And what a night for Paxton. Three out of four. Three out of four walked, reached base four out of five times. This ball is smoke now. And it looked like Bianco had it played a little bit to the pull side there in center field, so had to go a little bit further. And I don't know if the grass is a little bit wet in Baton Rouge or it's just scooting, but that one got to the wall in a hurry. Pat Hallmark no longer the third base coach. Popped him up. What a catch. Edward showing why again right here. All six feet five inches, and he needed every single inch of it right here. <laughs> Full extension lays out. <clears throat> Obviously not exactly what Tapia wanted to do. Pops that bun up on a pitch that was up in the zone, and Edwards kind of steals an out right there. That's a heck of a defensive play. That'll great get read. Paxton to third base. <clears throat> and a great read by Paxton at. And now they're at the corners. Here's the 3 2. Got him. Out number two. Inning is over. Ground ball to the left side. Scooped up there by Ochoa across the diamond, and the leadoff single is left stranded. And, and a leadoff walk. That ball's hit on the button to left. It is deep to left, and it is gone. A two-run shot, and the road runners now have the lead as Ochoa goes yard. Wow. A couple kids that didn't start this game end up with uh, two pretty big plays for the Roadrunners. A four-pitch walk. But also a season high in walks. That one's lifted in the air to right. 
Here's Cruz. He's got a cannon for an arm. Here's the throw home. It is up the line. And another one's on the board for the Roadrunners. It is seven to four. Ground ball to short. Thompson fires, and the inning is over, but not before the Roadrunners add three. And he lines one over the glove of the shortstop, Joshua Lamb, and that's a good start for LSU. And now the lineup gets to Cruz, then Morgan, and then Doty. And that's ball four, two on. Driven left center deep. It is out of here and we are tied. Doty does it again. That ball is driven. Deep left field. Off the wall. Beloso around first. He's going to stretch it to third. Here's the throw. Not in time. It's cut off. Big strikeout. That one is lifted in the air in foul territory. Paxton makes the catch, and the inning is over. But Ella. Little blooper. Grabbed there by Zach Arnold, and the inning is over. Lifts that one high in the air. Playable, though, for Dylan Rock. The freshman first pitch off the bat of Ochoa and can't be gloved out in left field. Lifted high in the air. Long run out in center field off the base of the wall. That'll get one run in. Here comes the second run as Paxton touches home plate. And it's a 9-7 Roadrunner lead. We talked to Pat Hallmark this morning when he was talking about Tappy. He said, you know what, he's just our kind of player. Plays the game right, does all the little things, but he's got a little bit more power than you would think. And that power was not being respected in center field. Sanford was playing in, even if he's playing back. He pops this one up a mile in the air in the infield. Jordan Thompson says he has it Ooh. and Woo. Maybe he threw him one too many fastballs. That one out over the plate. Morgan's going to try to get to second base. He'll get there easily and a leadoff double. Dugan <laughs> hammers it deep to left. Goal! Are you kidding me? <laughs> KP, Dugan knew it the moment he hit it. Yeah. I tell you what, there's been some balls hit hard tonight. There, there haven't been any hit further than this. And watch this reaction off the bat. You're pointing to the dugout two steps out of the box. You know that you got it. And this one just about cleared the stands in left center field. UTSA swings. The Fighting Tigers swing back. It that ball is out to Dugas, who makes a catch this time. With the across the forehead look. 
Rock to third base, throw across the diamond, and LSU. I also have a feeling that wouldn't be the only round. This ball is peppered to left center. Will the park hold it? No, we are done. LSU with a walk off. Jordan Thompson, his fourth of the year, ends this one.